create this beautiful mixed media piece with sunflowers, bees, a little bit of shimmer, all the good stuff. I'm not the first person to stencil with wax, no doubt. And I wanted to show you a little mixed media uh, project that I'm gonna do with um, Mint by Michelle papers. I'm gonna be decoupaging this beautiful sunflower onto an IOD wood blank. I'm gonna be adding just a couple of other things. I'm gonna be using Miss Mara LaFay's JRB stencil, the playful backgrounds. Let's do some wow. basic, basic decoupage techniques with the Mint by Michelle. And I've chosen a size um, board and a size decoupage paper so that I'm not gonna have to do any blending with this. This is the Fusion Decoupage and Transfer Gel. This is very thick. I'm just dipping my brush into water and mixing it into the medium so that it thins it out just a little bit. Okay, so here we go. When I am decoupaging with the Mint by Michelle or with JRV papers, because they're so thin, I'm not gonna put the image or the transfer medium over my whole piece. I want to just do it in sections. I'm trying to avoid getting my decoupage paper completely saturated all at once. After I've positioned the decoupage paper, I'll use a brayer to smooth out any wrinkles or bubbles and to remove the excess medium. And I want to I want to bring this back and pull it back enough so you're coming back into this wet surface. If I have a few wrinkles, it's okay by me. Tear off a section of plastic wrap, crumble it into a loose ball. And then I will just use this to slide over the surface. I really want to be gentle. Because this paper is wet, I don't want to remove any of the surface finish by pressing too hard. So yeah. if you get them wet or um, create some kind of a surface tension on them, it can remove the ink. And then, and I'll work from the center out. There's a few little wrinkles here, but I'm okay with that, you guys. With my finger, I remove any excess transfer gel from the side of the board so the overlapping paper doesn't dry and stick to the side. And I'm just going to tear this away. Isn't that fun? Oh, I love that clean edge that it makes. Yep. I just have these little words. It says beekeeping, little um, IOD. Um, this is from entomology, etc. I don't know. I, I think it's a bee. I'm gonna color them in yellow a little bit just to make them look more bee-ish. This little bee, this is um, an IOD bee. IOD bee on him. So I do want him overlapping my sunflower just a little bit, or I could bring him up here. But I do like them, um, I kind of like them off here a little bit. Like some of that yellow behind him. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. How about that? But I think what I love about all of this stuff that we do is that we can use all of it together. We can blend and marry so many different products. I think that is what I love about mixed media. So here we go. I am being very gentle. Now, under normal circumstances, you know that I would um, 
I would wait to let this dry completely on its own. Just kind of fluffing in a couple of little stripes just to make him look more bee-like. Yep, see how he looks? Oh yeah, yeah I think that's cute. good. And I know that it's a Let's take that beautiful, playful textures that has a honeycomb pattern, and um, we're gonna use a couple different kinds of wax today. Debbie's DIY Golden Rule, we're gonna try that. I have not stenciled with that, but I did stencil earlier with the PBO Gilding Wax, and this is Empire Gold. When I'm stenciling with anything, even with wax, I'm gonna remove the excess by offloading. Then randomly stencil the wax over the surface of your piece. Kind of randomly. It's just beautiful. It Let's try the Debbie's DIY Golden Rule. So this is Golden Rule. Offload, right? Let's see what happens. Oh yeah. Oh, that's pretty. It's really pretty. Just give it a little bit down in this corner. Oh my goodness, it's so pretty. It's so simple. It's so pretty. This is a wall piece, you guys. So. You don't have to seal it. The Mint by Michelle has a little bit of a coating on it. And that wax, it's not gonna remove Once it. Once it cures, no. Mm -mm. Man, that is truly so awesome. It really It gives is. it so much dimension. It really does. It is so pretty. But yeah, can you see that? Just that tiny bit of honeycomb and that little bit of shimmer. Quick and easy and super pretty and fun. Mixed media, I'm telling you right now, is where it's, it's, where at. it's at. It totally is. It's where it's at. All of the products that I use today are available at our brick and mortar shop in Medina, New York, or at lnjgoods.com. Don't forget, subscribe, like, and leave us a comment so that you don't miss another video.